Hello, hello. Let me know if you guys can um, see me, hear me. It's saying I'm live. I see someone, Nicole. Nicole Mellett. Hello, Nicole. Hello, everybody. I'm just going to wait for a little while because I know that there's quite a lot of people waiting for this. Um, we've had quite a few members join, obviously. So thank you for that. Um, for the newbies, my name is Rachel. Welcome to my group. I've been running this group for several years now. Um, I've had this uh, recipe I'm about to give you for about, um, when did I create the recipe? I think 2016, 17. Um, so it's only been sort of kept within, within um, my family and given out as gifts. Hello, everybody. <laughs> hi, guys. Hi, hi. I oh, know it's been a long time between drinks, huh? It's been a long time since I've, well, it feels like it's been actually months and months since I've done a live. Um, I know it's not, it's probably around about probably in the end of November somewhere there. Life has just been crazy, just crazy. So um, we'll just give it a minute. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful Christy and a great new year. And all those things you probably can see behind me I've still got some of my um, Chrissy decks up because I can't because I love it my hubby went to take down the um, he took all the lights down from the backyard and the front yard last weekend and oh, I was devastated how sad is that anywho so let me know how yours was I'm just going to pop into the group this way and, and let's have a squeeze at what's going on. I think there's quite a few people that are confused too. I think, because, and I have been saying all, all week that um, we will be going live in the group. I have, I have put it in the event. I've been sharing that on the page and obviously as you guys know, I've been sharing it with you two in the group so sorry for those that miss out um but i had plenty of warning i gave plenty of warning oh, get me words together yeah nothing's changed i'm still as ditzy as anything don't worry i think it's from all the years of bleaching my hair blonde to be quite honest sorry blondes but it's true right so without further ado let's get into it i hope you've all got a pen and a piece of paper ready because I'm going to go through it as I, I'm going to give you the rest of the ingredients and obviously for you thermo users you can use your blender my mum has used her her blender doing this so you know that's fine um, your little food processor whatever you have on hand um, but keep in mind the steps that you will be given are for a, th a thermomix um, but yeah you can you know you, you know what to do when you're processing you can get the gist of of the consistency that you're, you're getting for the sauce, but you'll see the consistency as I share it. So, okay, have we got our pen and paper ready? I wanna hear a big yes for all those watching. And I've lost my coffee. Let me know so that I can start. Don't know what I've done with it. Don't need to hear you, Rach. Ready? All right. So we're going to begin. I'm going to begin with giving you the ingredients first, okay? And then I'm going to make it, and then you will get the steps as I make it. Um, so unfortunately for all of those that did want to be in the group to get it, it doesn't appear that you're here, so I'm moving on. All right, first ingredient is one small white salad onion. Okay, I've got a big one, so um, 
I'm just using half of half of that big one. So when you're at the Coles supermarket and you just get a um, salad onion, so it's one small one. If you do happen to only be able to get a big one, have it. You don't want to use um, any more than that because um, yeah, onion gives off a lot of moisture as we know. So just one, so that's number one. One small white salad onion, peeled and quartered. Okay, number two is 100 grams of dill pickles, cucumbers as you know it. So dill pickles, dill cucumbers, yeah? Number three is 120 grams of whole egg mayonnaise. Number four, 60 grams of tomato sauce. Number five, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Number six, 10 grams of apple cider vinegar. For those of you, if you can't have vinegar for any um, health reasons, please use lemon juice, okay? You can substitute that with lemon juice. So number seven is half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And if you wanna add a little bit of extra for good luck, you add a little bit of extra for good luck, like I do. Number eight, one teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, number nine, you wanna give it a good pinch of sea salt and grounded black pepper. Okay, let me know if you got all those. I'll wait and have a sip. Let me know if you've got all, if everyone caught that. Hi Michelle, happy new year to you too, thank you. Let me know, yes, I'm still drinking out of Merry Christmas. Pop in the comments there for me guys, please, and let me know that you've got the, um, got the ingredients so I can get on. A bit fast? All right, I'm gonna do it one more time. Number one, one small white salad onion, peeled and quartered. Number two, 100 grams of dill pickles or cucumbers as you know them. So I know that sometimes they're called different things Eastern states. So they are dill pickles, dill cucumbers. You want 100 grams of those, they must be the large kind, okay? So they're gonna be cut into thirds. Number three, 120 grams of whole egg mayonnaise. Number four, 60 grams of tomato sauce. Number five, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Number six, 10 grams of apple cider vinegar. And as I said before, those that cannot have any type of vinegar, please substitute that with lemon juice. That is your preservative. Number seven is half a teaspoon of smoked paprika or a little bit extra for good luck. If you like it a little bit more smoky, your sauce. Number eight, one teaspoon of garlic powder. Number nine, a pinch, a good pinch of sea salt and ground black pepper. We got all that? Let me know in the comments. Okay, okay. I shall wait and have another sip of coffee. <laughs> Spinning. Let me know, let me know. And then I'm just gonna continue on. Got it, got it. Right, we're going. Okay, so now for your steps. Okay, so first step is add your peeled and quartered small white onion. And like I said earlier, I've got a large one. Um, that's all that they had, so I've halved it. So if you happen to get a, a large white onion, just halve that baby and then halve it again. That'll be fine. But when you get a smaller white onion, halve it, quarter it. Got it? Get it. Right now, obviously I've pre-weighed everything because I didn't want to be doing all that. So add the onion first and your dill pickle cucumber together. 
that's number one into the mixing bowl. Okay, sorry, I'm just going to move my glasses off that page so I can see. Right, thank you, Joe. So for three seconds, speed six, three seconds is your onion and your dill pickle. Let me know that you got that, please. Hello, Tatiana. Happy New Year to you too. Thank you. Did we get that, guys? Now, don't be afraid. There will be a little bit of juice. Even you can, um, if you wish, once you've cut your dill pickles into thirds, you can drain them a little bit more on some paper towel. So when I first pull them out, I do actually drain them on some paper towel. Okay? So you can see there's a little bit of liquid there. If you want to drain that off, you can. I never do, okay? Never have, never do. Oh, you got a thermo now, Jody. You got it. Good stuff. Right. So that step one was to add your dill pickles and your onion together. Speed six, three seconds. Yeah? What am I putting the lid back on? Who friggin' knows? Because I'm used to cooking. Oh, the next step. Oil. Cook. We're not doing that. So now, for the second step, is you add in all those ingredients I gave you. Okay, so first I'll add in my mayo. Must be whole egg mayo too. Okay, nice and thick mayo, because you want it to go back into a bit of a thickened state once it's refrigerated. So I add in my tomato sauce and my mayo. So your second step basically is you're adding in all the remaining ingredients that I gave you. Okay, Dijon. Now nothing's changed guys, I still like to scrape the hell out of everything and get every last drop. Wait, it's not one not right. Okay, you all did have a good Chrissy. Right, so now I've got my smoked paprika and garlic powder in here. In it goes. My apple cider vinegar. In she goes. In. This is my jar I'm going to be using. It makes roughly 300, what did I write there, mate? I had to weigh it, 350 grams. When I made a big batch over Christmas, I made sure that I weighed it so that when I give it out, that I could, because I know people go, how much does it make? So it makes 350 grams. Um, so we want a good dash of, or good pinch, good pinch of sea salt. And I've just got ground black pepper and I sort of just give it a, you know, a good shake. You can add as, you know, you can taste it later than because you've got to do it twice, the thing. Okay, so first step, we added our onions and dill pickles, speed six, three seconds. Second step, we add in all the remaining ingredients and I start with the mayo, the tomato sauce, Dijon mustard, the garlic powder, smoked paprika, paprika, and um, apple cider vinegar, pinch of salt, and ground black pepper. Okay, so now for this step, we're going to put this on speed four for 10 seconds. 10. Because you really want to combine that tomato sauce in with the mayo. That's what you're looking for. You really want to do that. So I just sort of have a look. There's still a you know. You can repeat if needed, if you want to repeat that step. Yes, don't worry, I'm going to give you a little goo. I'm going to pour it out into a jar. All right, so yes, it's going to look a bit runny at the moment, but as we all know, 
The Big Mac sauce is a little bit runny. But this is why you refrigerate it because you want um, it to sort of get back a little bit thicker. The longer it's in the refrigerator, obviously, the thicker it gets. Now, this can last, um, not that it does last in my house and it hasn't done. Um, this can last, you know, I would, I mean, I've had it in my fridge for up to 14 days and it's fine. So that's up to you, but I'm telling you now it won't last long. It doesn't long, last long around my, in my house or my family. All right, now I'm gonna pour some out so you can see. It's still got those nice chunks in it. Hope you can see that. You see? Sorry, put that back. Sorry, Dory. Now these jars are a Kmart jar. Wait, right, excuse my finger. It's just that for us. So that's 300. And in all honesty, it probably makes more than that. Because I've still got quite a lot left in the bowl. So that'll make another half a jar. So approximately 350, 400, just over. See? And then that will go back in the fridge. And I will, what I'll do is I'll get out one. Hold the phone. So it gets, it's quite thick. See? See the difference? Oh, where am I going? See? Stop it. Mmm. Yum. So that's it. So as I was saying, yeah, when you, before, I should have said before, um, when you pour it into a jar, make sure your jar is well sterilized, yes? I mean, that goes without saying. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more of this jar. And we'll, do, we'll worry about that run. Put that back on. We go, and I do, I fill it up right up to the, just under where you put your lid on. And then to, when I seal it, because these ones have got like a little pop, so the trick is to really seal it. I'm just gonna wipe that down a little bit. To give it a good seal, obviously put the lid on, lid on. Even do that with your jam when you're making jam, turn it upside down so it really seals it and you can feel that pop, hear it? And then, that is it my friends, that is it. So you can make these for little gifts. You get them from Kmart, these jars, and then you always have a little bit left over for you. Or I mean, just keep it for yourself, you know? But as I said, that's it. Simple. Quite easy. I hope you all got that. Let me know in the comments. I'll hang around for a little minute and um, let me know. Let me know if you've got any questions or you need me to go back over it. Put the new one over there so I don't get confused. 
I'll just hang about for a little minute. You're welcome, Michelle. You're welcome, Shari. And thank you for your thank yous. It's nice to be appreciated. Thank you very much. I hope you give it a go. Yeah, sure is pretty easy. Oh, bless your cotton socks and knit. Oh, that's so sweet. I missed you guys too. I'll um, be doing more of my own recipes within the group, um, which um, is where I want to go with that. So you will see more of me in the group doing my own recipes. Um, when I do jump on and perhaps do a cookie do or a recipe from cookie do, I will go on live through the page because I want to keep the group for that reason so that you guys are getting you know the best out of the group and that is to get the recipes that's the whole idea that's where it all began all those years ago was for that very reason was to do that to keep my recipes within the group and um, hence why you know you better have some sort of VIP thing and if I'm giving it all away uh, on the page then it doesn't really make sense to have a VIP group. But here we are. You're welcome, Pamela. It is really tasty, Tatiana. Really, really tasty. It's a big, a big hit with all of us. Um, yeah, we love it. It's really good. And it's good. I never have, I've never had to buy it when it all came out, when it all started to come out on the shelves. Um, like I said, I've been making it for years, as I said that at the beginning of this, this video. So, um, we love it. My family love it. it, it it's, a big, it's a big hit. But I hope you do enjoy it. And perhaps you can, you know, even do it for a little gift like I did. I did a massive batch and everybody got a, everybody, everybody got a jar. You got a car, you got a jar. You know, felt like Oprah. Not really. <sighs> I'm just being silly now. Anyways, people, I can't say it was lovely to see you because I can't see you. <laughs> but it was really good to be back on again um, and just touch base with you guys. Um, like I said, we will do more of my recipes within the group. And when I do um, or feel like doing a, a, a live over on the page, I'll only be doing um, things from Cookie Do from there on. So, yeah. If you have any questions, oh, hang on, Taddy, I can't quite read all of it. I have to go on this. Yes, yeah, yeah, you're right, Taddy, It will taste extremely different. It really would. Um, but of course you can do that. Of course you can use yogurt and substitute that and sour cream if they can. Um, I think with sour cream maybe you could probably maybe add in more garlic or something and smoked paprika, especially with the yogurt. Yeah, because that would do, yeah, thing that would sort of make it, I think yogurt would definitely make it a little bit more runnier for sure, unless it's a really thick, like set, a pot set um, Greek yogurt, but yeah. And you're Greek. I'm sure that you <laughs> will definitely, definitely get the best of the best of Greek yogurts for sure, for sure. Thanks, Pamela. It's, um, yeah, it's been a long time, hasn't it? It hasn't felt like it so much for me on this end, let me tell you, because it, life has been, it, it's been crazy for me. But um, yeah, I know it's been a long time and it has felt like months and months, but it, it sort of has gone that quick, if that makes sense as well, that it didn't really feel that way, but it, it's been a long time, you know? Yeah, I thought you would. Of course you do. You'd have the best of the best, I know that nothing like it mm -mm. anyway my friends i am going to sign off i've got lots to do <sighs> and carry on i know i was a bit late because i'm just running around like a headless chook at the moment with everything so anywho's
I'm say lovely to talk to you again. I can't say lovely to see you because I can't see you. You know, but anyway, you can see me. Um, but it was lovely to do it for you guys again. Lovely to see some of my regulars. Um, really great to see you guys. I'm glad you had a good Chrissy and a good new year. And thank you for all the new year wishes. I hope it is a good new year for everybody. I really do. I really, really do. It's been quite crap, hasn't it? Anyways, much love as always. Until next time. Bye-bye for now.